somewhere around midlife, you hit a wall, a wall that can be very scary, dark, very quiet, a silence of desperation. And you really need a lot of guidance and perspective to survive it and to come out on the other side better than before. There's a book that has helped me tremendously. It's called The Happiness Curve. And it studies people uh, worldwide at midlife, 40s, 50s. And it talks about this very difficult season. It's more than a crisis. It's really a compilation of everything ending and restarting. You feel like your body is no longer how it used to be. Your career no longer satisfies. Your children or um, whatever things you really gave your life to earlier no longer aren't, you're no longer needed in the same way. You've been through some relational challenges, professional failures, some regrets, shame, all the big ones come out, it seems like, in this season, and it's a very disconcerting time. What I've learned in working with people at midlife and, of course, dealing with my own process and learning from books like this and prayer and reading the scriptures is that you have to simplify your life and return to your heart. Simplify your life means that you no longer need to reach the top. You've already reached the mountaintop. And now it's time to focus in a simpler way. It's no longer about scaling the mountain. Now it's about simplifying your love for people, finding simple ways to make a difference. And, and then it really comes down to returning to your heart which means returning to the things that made you come alive to begin, to begin with. For me, it's always been the church. It's always been music. It's always been people. It's always been, as I got older, discipleship and mentoring the next generation. And that really is what it comes down to for all of us. We have to return not to the same place as before. That's gone but to a simpler, a simpler version of yourself. Things to avoid is to lose hope, is to complicate your life, is to keep doing the same thing that you were just doing. As uh, I, I think it was Einstein, right, who said it that insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. This is an insane time. A lot of times we do insane things. We keep going back to the same things, expecting things to change. And yet, even if the circumstances change, your heart would not be happy because you're changing and you have to give in to the change, give in to the grace of God to realize that this midlife transition is an opportunity for you to become more pure to be forgiven, to return to the heart of God, to simplify your expectations and to live for what matters. This is what I do in coaching my own heart. I also have a coach that works with me and then I coach other people at midlife. And it's been a powerful thing to come together and to lift each other up. If you would like to be a part of my community and get my coaching, just click on the link below and let's get started. But most of all, don't give up, simplify and return to your heart. Talk to you soon.